friends close, but your enemies close. You're gonna need a bigger boat. All for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. What's in the box? Wax on, wax off. Say hello to my little friend. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss Get it. To the chopper! Movie Mondays with Tom and Cullum, sponsored by Palace Nova Cinemas on Fresh 92.7. This morning we've got Brian from Palace Nova in the studio with us to take us through all the amazing new releases on offer at Palace Nova in their East End and Prospect locations. G'day Brian, how are you going mate? I'm good, I'm good. How are you guys doing today? Very, Very well. good. Brian, tell us, there's so many movies right now, a lot of heavy hitters, especially coming out later this year. We've got October, Halloween, what's going on? Well, we've got to get through September 1st and right. it is jam-packed. We have got some amazing things right now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is our number one film. Hilarious comedy. If you like a little something spooky, if you like to laugh, it's the one to go see. If you like something that's really creepy crawly, Alien Romulus yes. is okay. out now, and that's really good too. I'm curious about the Alien Romulus. Is is it a remake of the original no. film or is it a complete standalone? It's a complete standalone. I believe it takes place just before the Sigourney Weaver one. So it's oh, okay. just before that happened. I only watched the first one recently for the very first uh, time, and it was actually at Palace Nova because you do a lot of the screenings of the old movies, yes. and you did the original there on the big screen unreal to see it that big yeah i'm keen to see romulus it's getting amazing reviews right speaking of amazing reviews deadpool and wolverine yes Mm. if you like action even if you're not a marvel movie fan kind of person it's got some great action in it and hugh jackman come on who doesn't love hugh jackman what do you think your pick for the movie of the year is so far is deadpool and wolverine up there it's definitely the most popular one of the year i think yeah it's the barbie of 2024 absolutely but if you don't really go for the action thing ryan reynolds's wife is in a great film based on a bestseller it's called it ends with us yes blake lively is phenomenal in it it's a dramatic piece and it's just fantastic i mean i don't want to spoil anything about it but it's worth checking out yeah especially if you like that kind of a romance but it's a drama and then there's some some heavy topics that are covered in there it's not a comedy by any stretch no but it's definitely a movie if you're looking for something that's got some good mm. weight to it. Yeah, no, I've heard yeah. it's not for the faint-hearted. No. <laughs> I've heard it's uh, quite comparable to the book as well. If you're looking for an adaptation that's similar or even better, yes. it's definitely out there. It's definitely on that list of films that, like, if you love the book, and the book is an international bestseller, yep. definitely check it out if you haven't checked it out. We did a great event. We had three screens on opening night. Everyone came out just raving about the film and how wonderful it was. Right. And, and we always do, like, those special events. Speaking of events, Joker, sequel, Folly Adieu, Joaquin Phoenix, Lady Gaga, we've got an opening night event for that, October 3rd. We've got Sebastian Stan. He's got a great film coming out called The Different Man. He plays a gentleman whose his life is impacted from being disfigured from a medical condition. Mm, he right. goes and has his surgery. He wants to be an actor, and he goes out, and the perfect role for him is waiting for him, but it's to play someone who's disfigured. Right. So he's already had the surgery, and the guy who gets the job has the same affliction that he had. It's this weird kind of comedy thriller. It's 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 one of those quirky movies that you find kind of shine on their own. And it's like, I've not seen anything like this. We've got a preview coming up for that on October 10th. And there's, there's so many festivals and stuff coming up for us. We've got the Italian Film Festival. We've got the Adelaide Film Festival. We've got the Akira Kurosawa Film Festival showing the great works of the Japanese filmmaker who inspired everyone from George Lucas to the westerns that were filmed in like the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s in the States. I mean, it's just, it's jam-packed schedule. There's no way I can go through all this in the time. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> heaps. It so, seems like it's all happening at Palace it's, Nova. It's all happening and it's always happening at yeah. both East End and Prospect locations of Palace Nova Cinemas. We just invite you to check out the website. Between those things and our bonfire horror nights that happen at the end of the month, this month we're featuring Event Horizon, scary, sci-fi, classic, gory. If you like a scary film, if you don't mind a little bit of splatter and weirdness on screen, come out and join your fellow ghouls. Fantastic. Well, we can't wait to check it out. All at Palace Nova. Head to their East End and Prospect locations to get involved in all these festivals and check out some of these awesome new releases that are coming up. Cheers for coming in, Brian. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Cheers.